Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a first impressions review on the Rimmel Fresher Skin Foundation. We'll give it a test. I love Rimmel foundations, so hopefully this one is no exception, but let's put it to the test. Um, firstly, I'll just read what it says online about it. Top here with it. Um, so it says, new fresher skin foundation with SPF 15, light breathable coverage for an even natural looking fresh finish that stays shine free all day. So currently it's available in eight shades and I believe it's only in Australia, correct me if I'm wrong down below. Um, but yeah, I think it is a new one just to Australia. So that's cool. So yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. It just comes in like a little jar. I'm not such a huge fan of the jar because I prefer something with a pump. It's a little bit more controllable um, with the amount of product that you use. And also like your fingers in it all the time get a bit ugh. So um, anyway, down, thumbs down for the packaging already. Um, but yeah, I think it's the claims are pretty good. So it's meant to say shine free all day um, and kind of a light natural finish, which I think will be a great foundation for every day. The foundation that I love, which is a 25 hour lasting finish foundation is definitely more of a medium to buildable full coverage foundation so it's definitely a little bit more up there with the coverage um so yeah hopefully this one will be a nice little change little mix up today i'm going to use the bourgeois um happy light base serum this is the matte version um just to prime my face like i always use a primer so when i do these first impressions reviews um i'm always going to use a primer because that's what i always do so that's all rubbed in and let's start off with the foundation. I'm going to use, as always, a damp beauty blender to apply this. And taking the lid off, has a little protective thingy over the top and, oh, okay. It's kind of um, like moussey in texture and it jiggles, um, so it's quite thick. Um, I'm just going to use what's on the cap. Um, so, I don't know, I'm going to, oh, I think this is going to be too dark. Okay, so I've just got about that much. I'm just going to dot it all over my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender like I would always do with my foundations. So it is very thick. For sure. Um, yeah. I guess I'll just blend that in. Okay, so there is like, like, no... There's like no coverage in this. Okay. So that's one kind of layer with the beauty blender. Patchy on my nose. And it's kind of clinging to all my dry patches on my nose. So I don't really have any dry patches. I guess I'm in. If you can see it, it's really gone a bit cakey and patchy around my nose there. And, yeah, I don't know. So straight off the bat, that's not great. Um, let's maybe try a little bit more of it. Maybe I just need to kind of build up the coverage a little bit. So oh, I'm going to use my finger. Go about that much again. I'm just going to dab it over my face again. Yeah, I'm just going to continue to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Now, I know that this is meant to be a light coverage, so I mean, I shouldn't be complaining about the lack of coverage, but God, this is looking shit. Even for a light coverage, like, it's just real patchy. Like, so far, this is an absolute fail of a foundation. Like, seriously. I'm gonna zoom you in. Look at my chin. It's just kind of rolling off. Like... What? Maybe it'll be better with a brush, but it's looking really crap at the moment. I'm just gonna grab a brush. Maybe using a brush. It's just the Real Techniques... Whoa! It's the Real Techniques um, contour brush, but I really do like it for foundation and things like that, so... What? That's just lifting everything off. Okay, well, the brush isn't blending it in at all. There's heaps of little streaky marks all over my face. 
it literally just pulled everything off and it's boiling up. So maybe you can see this a little bit better. Look how streaky that is. Look how cakey it's gone in my nose. This is just disgusting. I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna wash my face off and maybe try it without the primer and just blend it in with my hands maybe. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I've just washed my face and took it all off um, and I've just got my normal kind of skincare on that I use every single day, but I haven't applied a primer. So I'm gonna try this one again. Um, but I'm just going to use my hands to kind of blend it in and see if that makes a difference because I don't like the beauty blender and I don't like a brush. So hands are kind of the only other option that I've got. Don't worry about that much. I'm just going to dot on my face. And then I'm just going to use ooh, my hands to blend it in. Hands seem to be doing a better job for sure. 100% way better than the beauty blender and way, but way better than the brush. So that is one layer and it hasn't completely evened out my skin tone, but it's definitely helped a little bit. Um, it's definitely a light coverage. You can definitely still see kind of my blemishes kind of coming through for sure. But for a nice like everyday light finish, it's quite nice. I'm going to see if I can build it up a little bit more. We'll use it again using my fingers. I'm going to grab a little bit more and I'm just going to place it. All over my face again. Okay, so that is the second layer. Um, I've definitely got like a shine to my skin. Um, has really done nothing to cover any of my pimples. For me, for an everyday foundation, this isn't cutting it. Um, I mean, I definitely like that it's light, but um, I need something with a little bit more coverage, I think. Well, I need something with a little bit more coverage. It's done nothing. I mean, I'm going to... Put on the rest of my face concealer and everything and see how it works just with the concealer and things like that as well um but at the moment the foundation itself hasn't really covered anything it has definitely taken down a little bit of the redness in my skin um but and it does it does look healthy it does like it does look healthy and fresh my skin but it def and it doesn't look like i've got hate some you can see that you've got a little bit of makeup on especially around my nose because it's starting to look cakey on my nose for some reason like dry and flaky, which is really weird because I really have oily skin. I don't have any dry bits. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I'm going to put on the rest of my face and I'll be back in a second to check in. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I realized that I forgot to do like a time check when I finished applying the foundation, but it's taken me about, I don't know, I'll say about half an hour to apply the rest of my face. Um, the time is now almost 10 past 11. So yeah, um, I will do a few check-ins throughout the day. Um, at the moment, I did notice concealer was peeling off as I tried to blend it in with the Beauty Blender. So it's kind of peeling off the foundation a bit. So that's a bit of a drawback. Um, powder went on fine. I used a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder today just to kind of, you know, keep Rimmel and Rimmel together. Um, yeah, my contour on my nose, and I'm going to zoom you in and see if you can check it out. It kind of peeled off when I was blending... Um, and it could have had a problem with the fact that the concealer wasn't sticking down. Um, so yeah, I've got a little bit red and patchy throughout my nose just there. But besides that, um, I mean, I think it looks like nice. It definitely looks really natural um, and it would be nice for an everyday. I do feel like I'm a little bit shiny in through here. I have got a little bit of highlight on, but it's kind of my pores look a little bit shiny and big at the moment. I know, we'll see. I'll check back in later to see how the foundation is going. I haven't got a really kind of strenuous day. I have got things to do though. I am going out in public um, and I want to film another video for you as well today. So we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Um, and yeah, I'll check back soon. Hey guys, so I am back with my check-in, which potentially is going to turn into the last clip for this video. As you can see, my face is... Probably the oiliest I've probably ever seen it. Um, it is beyond oily. It is a greasy, slimy mess. Um, ugh, I think obviously because I had to take everything off and not use a primer, that's probably why the reason why it is so shiny because I didn't use an oil controlling primer um, like I always do because my oils are like severe. Um, so as you can see, I'm very, very dewy 
dewy, I mean just oily mess, especially in through here, my chin. I mean, I've got a highlight on here, which actually looks really nice with the amount of shine that I've got going on, but in through my T-zone, all in through my kind of center of my face here, is an oily, oily mess. So the foundation itself hasn't broken down, so I don't have any weird patchiness happening. I've just got like a severe amount of oil laying over my face. So I'm going to check and see if this is salvageable. I didn't even do a check-in for the time. It is now about 10 past 6. Um, so I've had this on for about 7 hours and 7 hours is well enough for me at the moment. I'm just going to grab a tissue and I'm going to split it. And see if I can soak up any of this oil off my face. Because I haven't touched up at all. So I did, obviously I did set it with that Rimmel powder like I said. But I haven't touched up at all. So let's see if this is salvageable. Oh, yuck. Oh, look at that grease coming off. Ew. So that's actually done a really, really good job. Foundation itself is still sitting there. It's still in place. You know what? I'm going to leave this on for a little bit longer. I'm going to check back in in a few hours and see if the oil kind of mess comes back or not. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's about 10 past 6 now. So I'll check back in with you guys soon and we'll see how we're going. So guys, I'm back with another check-in. The time is now about 10 to 8. So I've had this foundation on for almost 9 hours. So let's check it out and see how it's holding up since the last check-in. So yeah, oily around my kind of pores, sides of my nose, cheeks here, middle of my forehead again, down my nose. My chin, the coverage on my chin's pretty much gone. Um, but I don't think it looks terrible. And the reason why I don't think it looks terrible is because it is that light kind of barely coverage foundation so even though it has worn off it's not super noticeable because it didn't provide that much coverage to begin with so I definitely think that this foundation has a place in my collection I definitely think I will still use it for those days where you're not really going to do much and you just want a light layer of foundation you still want to look really fresh not necessarily flawless but fresh and kind of put together I think this would be a great foundation did say shine free finish I don't agree with that I definitely think it had a dewy kind of satin luminous finish after I would finished applying it I did set it down with a powder like I said but for this one I definitely think the way to use it is with no primer although I will probably try again and I will leave it down in the description bar I will use it a few more times and kind of see if anything changes I'll wear it with a primer hopefully tomorrow and see how it goes and just yeah blend it in with my fingers and see how it lasts I've got a 12 hour day at work tomorrow so hopefully um, it'll hold up so from the disastrous start this morning to an okay finish I hope you enjoyed the video I love doing these foundation um, first impression reviews for you so um, yeah let me know your thoughts down below on this foundation have any of you guys tried it out what do you guys think of it so I hope you guys found this video helpful um, and enjoyable if you did give this video a like thumbs up for me and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any of my new videos and I will see you guys next week in my next video bye guys